Hello YouTube community, my name is Jacket13 and we're back with some more Duels Through the Roses. Today we're going to be taking on Pegasus Crawford and I have to say this dude has been the hardest person in for to ever beat. I don't think I've ever gotten past him even as a child uh, when I used to play this game a bit. So um, if we beat him today, this will be the first time I've ever beaten him. So you guys are joining me for a nice ride here. Anyway, I've got a pretty good deck going up against him. Only a 927 deck cost, and if I can't beat him with this deck, I'm going to try a couple other decks off screen maybe, and only count uh, the one loss, because I don't want to lose too many times to too many different people, because that's just not enjoyable for you guys to watch, having me lose over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, it's just not cool for you guys to watch, which is why I took it out of my, my grinding sessions when I did them. So anyway, uh, we're going to face Pegasus Crawford with a deck that I have. If I can beat him, cool. If not... I'll try some other tactics. Anyway. Wow, so you're the famed Rose Duelist. I am Pegasus Crawford, the champion of the Northlands, the noblest of the Orcus, and the master of the Rose Crusaders. He's also the creator of the cards in the TV show. I'm also known to some as Thomas Stanley, or Lord Stanley to my friends. <laughs> Sito has told me about you, Def I'm sorry, dear Duelist. Seto has taught me a thing or two about dueling, too. So come on, let's duel. Alright. This dude's a jerk. Alright, so here's here's basically how this battle works, alright? We've got, in this entire thing, excuse me, in this entire thing, he has got a, a crap ton of town i oh, sorry, Toon, not Town. I don't know why I was thinking Town. Probably all the Town of Salem I've been playing. Uh, he's got a bunch of Toon uh, spaces here. We've also got some normal spaces to get up to him. But anyway, these uh, Labyrinth spaces, yeah, not fun. You cannot go straight across to attack him, so he probably is, I think he stays where he is. So basically, you have to go through one of these two sides, or both sides, and use that to your advantage. Um, what I could do is I could use my uh, Labyrinth card, but I don't have that in my deck right now. But I could do that so I could get one of these five and place it like right here so he can't escape. And I can uh, come through the middle like so. It would sort of funnel me in, but if I have another attack from this side, I should be able to corner him over into one of the corners. So, um, I've got a bit of a game plan for now. Uh, however, we're going to just throw something down. I've got a lot of cards here. That uh, are not going to really help me at the moment. However, they are good for later, so we'll leave that magic jammer there. Alright. So. <clears throat> this guy plays very similarly, actually, to um, a Necromancer, which is pretty funny. Uh, considering Necromancer is one of my easiest, and this guy is one of my hardest, at least so far during this playthrough. Um, that's how it's been. So we'll have the Goblin Secret Remedy back here just in case. And uh, we'll end our turn. Now, um, lately, I mentioned it a little bit before, but uh, I'll go ahead and say it again. Uh, lately, I've been playing a lot of Town of Salem. It's a game of deception and deceit, and it is a lot of fun. Um, let's go ahead and just... Yeah, he can attack it. Might as well. Let's just get rid of some of this spaces here. Yeah, he didn't have a nice uh, trap card, so there we go. I already got rid of half of that. And I have a couple of sea monsters in here. They're going to do pretty well. So, good luck with that. Anyway, so I've been playing Town of Salem. It's a game of deception, deceit, and uh, basically screwing people over. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been one of those games that you just, you know, get addicted to. Yeah, that's one of them. Um, let me go ahead and move up just a little bit. All right, we have a spellcaster, a zombie, and a fiend. Um, none of that really is going to help me. So, what's his effect? Sounds good. Alright. Well, that even does my cards? Real oh, crap. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and use it then. I was going to use it anyway. But, uh, perfect. So now if he tries to do something, Magic Jam is going to be up. So, cool. And he'll just stay in there for the now. I'm going to move back. In a second, maybe I can get Stern Mystic to move forward. I didn't check his monsters. What am I doing? I'm a little insane here. Rogue Daw. Okay. Well, we can get rid of Rogue Daw. That's not too big of a problem. 
How much defense does he have? 1500? Storm Mister can take care of that. And Parrot Dragon, that one's not fun. And then Spellbinding Circle, what does this do? Dispose of the trap with Spellbinds activated enemy for three turns and reduces its strength to 600? Or is it 500? It looks like 500 on my other screen, so uh, I'll go with that. Um, let me actually, I have the um, awesome fusion list here. I need to remember what goes well with Spellcaster. Thunder and Spellcaster, okay. Um, that's just going to make the uh, Thunder of Immortal available. So I don't know if I want to use that on Storm Mystic. Uh, we can move him back. I don't really know. I don't think I should be attacking him with anybody yet. So... Can you take Invigoration? Neither of you can take Invigoration. And I don't really want to use Dark Power, so here's what we're going to do. The zombie and Fiend don't go together in any way, shape, or form just to make sure. Nope, they do not. They, no, they do. They make Clown Zombie. Well, um, sure. Sounds good. So with Town of Salem, what I've basically been doing is uh, trying to learn all the classes. I watched RPG Minx do a lot of her stuff, and uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, get wrecked, dude. Magic Jammer's face up. I'm surprised you didn't see that. Get out of here. And uh, RPG Minx is pretty cool. I actually don't normally watch her. Um, so, yeah. It's pretty interesting how that works. Okay. Um, I'll leave you down here in defense position. Sounds good. And uh, sh she played with her friends. Um, I don't think... Yeah, Oma was with her a lot. Oma was with her, and Ento was with her, and... Um, oh god. What the hell? Well, we just brought back Tremendous Fire. Cool. Can I get a Magic Jammer again? That'd be funny. Oh boy. You done goofed now. You done goofed. Alright. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I believe... Let me check the uh, thing again just to make sure I don't screw it up. I just wanted to make sure that I was really prepared for this battle. So I apologize for my looking at this a lot. Um, it is fiend and job change mid. So hopefully this will be good. Yep. Okay, Ryukushin Powered is better than nothing. Ryukushin Powered is better than nothing. Okay. Dark Energy is only 300? I thought it was more. Okay. Well, uh, Rogue Doll is going to defeat that no matter what. So, he has 2100? Why? Didn't realize he was that powerful. Dang, dude. Okay. Well, I sort of wasted my job change mirror, so I'm probably going to lose this battle now. Um, tremendous fire. There you go. You got it off. It's what, 500 points of damage? A thousand? Good lord. Okay. I have a couple other strategies that I can use, but I gotta get rid of this rogue doll first. So, um... No real clue on what to do here. Kind of at a loss for words. I don't want my deep sea dar uh, deep sea shark in right now because that would definitely help with all this stuff that's over here. What I could do, yeah, he's gonna beat that like I thought he would. Total opposition. Yeah, get spellbound though, dude. All right. Right, shoot powered. Have fun. Go on in. All right. And we're going to go ahead and move Starboy back one and move me over one. I kind of want to attack the other side a little bit too. See if I can do a nice little pinch move. I know he's got that Parrot Dragon and that other uh, Spell Trap card thing. So, that Spell card, Trap card thing. I can't English. I can't. Words. He's got a lot of Parrot Dragons, by the way, just so you guys know. Um, I'm pretty sure you already knew that. But. Red medicine. Red medicine. Give me back some life points. I will take back about 500 of them. So yeah, that's been uh, 
taking my time a lot. Uh, that stuff, that uh, Town of Salem game. I'm really out of things to talk about. I really got no clue what to do at this point. Um, I could use thunder and thunder and fish. I don't have a fish, do I? Oh, no, I have one fish. Um, don't, they don't have it on this list here, though. That uh, escargot thing. Except I don't remember what that was. Wait, what was what was I sending out here? I wasn't sending anything out here. Cool. He's in defense position. Okay, cool. Um, spellcaster and dragon, they go together. I remember that. I can't remember what they make though. I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Yeah, they make black wind fire dragon. Not really gonna do me any good. Um, though, you know, there's stuff on here that there's there's other stuff that's not on here, so I don't really know. Maybe I could do dragon and plant. Black Dragon Jungle King, and then combine that with my Thunder to give me Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Maybe I could do that. First off, we need to get something on the board right now, though. So, um, Scale Gun, have fun. And, Ryukish Empowered, you can go ahead and go back at that, uh, that rogue doll there have fun with that. I think they're just going to move back here and uh, move Starboy back up there. I really don't know what to do now. This is a little ch challenging. Um, trying to think this through. Yeah, he's going to beat him. Cool. Good job, dude. Get spell down, though. Alright, if I can get Deep Sea Shark right now, I can kill two monsters. I didn't get it. But what I did get was uh, my thunder. So, Dark Chimera. Let's just screw around here, see what. No. Let's just see what we can do. Nope. Okay, cool. Wait, Pair Dragons powered up on Toon Worlds? Dang, dude. Did not know that. Okay. Well. Skill gun, I'm gonna leave you there. Actually, Starboy, move back again real quick. I've got a plan, and it could work. It's a very risky plan, but it could work. It could be very beautiful. That's just in case he has uh, the Harpy Feather Duster. Trying to get rid of stuff. I think this will go in effect before Magic Gym, but hopefully. Hopefully that's what happens. Um, Skelgon. Yeah, Skelgon, just stay where you are, dude. You lose in here? No, you don't. Cool. And this is my fiend. Alright, cool. I'll think of something. I've got some plans, but... Wait, how did he move two? No, he didn't move two. What am I talking about? It looked like he moved two for a second. I don't know. I'm just going insane. You can't use a uh, violet crystal, can you? That's a yeah. You can't. Didn't think so. Okay. Boom! Magic neutralizing force field. Get wrecked. There was nothing. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Cool. That really didn't do anything for me, did it? I hope that wasn't. I hope that was a tomb world. Get rid of that earlier. All right, cool. Well, skill gun. I have a. Hopefully, I'll get. I'll get a surprise for you. Is that judgment hand? Is that what that is? Yes. Would have beat him. God. Why didn't I think of that? Shoot. Wait, why did he lose? Going up against Fiend, he loses? Or is that Dark Chimera's special ability, like a hidden special ability? What the Oh, he's a loser of Spatialist Mage. I thought that was a hand. How did... 
How did he lose? You, you de what? Oh, he's not in the range. Oh my god, if I had known that before. Holy cow. The things I could have done. Anyway. Oh, just <laughs> Why? Why? I was gonna move it over here. Okay, well. He's spell down, so I can beat him next turn. Meanwhile, in the Justice League. Um. Yeah, they're still setting stuff up. Okay, so this will move over there. I'm gonna try not give it a C space. I'm gonna kind of move it a little bit more that way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So. Control Robo, go! Nice. Alright, I'll get rid of him next turn. Toon World. Okay. Mesmeric Control. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And this is Brain Control. Takes control of an opponent's highest attack monster for one turn. That would be that dude. And Yami's right there. Well. Um. Let's hope he doesn't try to use that. Yeah, because these two are weak wings. Yeah, I'm not going to use Yami. Not right now. Okay. He might try to use brain control. He might. He might be... Oh! Get magic jammers, by the way. Yeah, he might try to use it, though. I think he will. That'd be funny if that was hard to spell about when he tried to use it. Alright. So we're, uh. Yeah. Look at that. What a jerk. Alright, well. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, he had me both. He had me. So worried right then. Alright, so I'm gonna send Nightmare Scorpion up here. He's gonna spellbind that thing for a turn. And that'll be fun. Alright. Um Sounds good. Cool. That'll be my turn for a bit. He knows it's scale gone now, but um I don't think that really matters, does it? Okay, now we play the waiting game. Good lord. I got nothing but really good spell cards. Not power ups, spell cards, power ups. <sighs> okay, here's what we'll do then send the violet crystal down this way. Bring Nightmare Scorpion up one. And scale gone back one. He'll move here. Violet Crystal will move to him. And, uh, cool. Alright. This is a very strategic battle. And now we put. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay, well, we'll just get rid of Invigoration, because I've only got one thing that can use it, and I, I really don't feel like trying to get that guy out right now. Or hoping for that guy to come out right now. He's not that good of a thing. Alright. Nightmare Scorpion. I will get Spellbound. Oh, look at that. That's, that's a great play, Michael. Because now his effect doesn't... Now his effect doesn't work. And this dude's gonna move in for the kill. Get 1900 points of life damage on him. Um. Oh. 
Oh, good. But there's a catch. A special power up. Strong and tuned terrain. There's also a dragon. Okay, cool. Wish I had brain control. To take care of that thing and use my. Uh, wish we call it on him. You sick. Use my. Uh, Kaminari the Puzo or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Get spellbound though. Have fun with that. I really hope that I get Quagar Hercules right now and I can just wreck him. Just for this one turn, that's all I would ask for. Okay. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but here's what we'll do. We'll move that away, and then we we'll go ahead and, uh, boom. So now you attack, you lose 400, then I attack you, and you lose 600. 1,000 points of life points right there. Boom. We'll also use this Yama right there, and we'll get rid of some more of your precious Toontaroon. Alright. Now I can attack you directly from two good angles. Also, this guy, he's coming in for the kill, so get ready. Meanwhile, at the Justice League, uh, we got these things over here. This needs to come back up and uh, get in this C spot with me real quick. Oh, does he, can he see stuff? I hope he can see stuff. That'd be funny. Alright, dude, fine. I'll come at you then. You'll still lose 600 points, and I, that'll be fine by me. I'll take the 600. Who do I have first? Let me see. I've got a spellcaster. Alright. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. What the heck am I doing? No, no. Five star summoning over, five star summoning over. Let's do this. Two stars. Uh. Does he get Book of Secret Arts? But this isn't a spell cap. Yeah, it is. Huh. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? Come on, Michael. Be smart, real quick here. See? Look at that. Like a boss. Just in case for some reason he has another rogue doll. Can take out my skill on skill gun and a uh, star boy. I'm gonna bring you up here so that I can just stay here in the middle. Um, as for insect with laser cannon, insect armor rather with laser cannon. Come on over. Nice, nice. All right, I'm liking it. Okay, what do I've got? What do I've got? I've got an amoeba. I've also got a magnetic control. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna move back over here. I'm gonna move this over here again real quick. I'm gonna put a magnetic control right here. We're gonna have this guy go up one, like so. Have magnetic control follow him, and uh, Star Boy, you just stay there for the moment. You can uh, come back later. Skull Gun, you go up there. Uh, Spear of the Wind, you go ahead and go up there too. I'm gonna put Skull Gun in defense position. Unless this pair of dragon gets killed by him, in which case everybody will know who he is. Now that we have that in accordance with what we need to have it, let's go. Let's see if we can uh, take this dude head on. If we are headstrong, we'll take on anyone. Yo, I get put down so hard right there. Alright, so he's gonna get... Yeah, he's gonna die. He's gonna die no matter what. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Ah, oh, you know what? This is even better. This is even better. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. Wasteland, he gets a power up, so if he attacks here, he's gonna get killed. If he attacks there, he's still gonna get killed. And either way, he's gonna be losing a good chunk of life points. Spirit of the Winds, come on up, have fun. Be a cool person like that. Um, yeah. 
I'm going to move back here. Starboy, you can go ahead and take that spot. Man, that position. Do what you got to do. Fake trap, you go ahead and move over. I just feel like moving you for the now. That's good. Okay. Things are looking up. I might have wanted to put that a little bit closer to him so I could get rid of more of his uh, tomb positions, but there's really not that much to worry about with his tomb positions at the moment. So. Nice. Nice. We've got him cornered. And he knows it. Alright. Um, if I move him here, he's down to 1700. I think is what that said. Yeah. Okay. Well. Let's see what I can move. I might be able to get something here. We might. We might win. Oh wait, no, we can't block them all. Never mind. Um. We can get awfully close though. Oh god. Do I want to risk it for the biscuit? Yeah. I'm feeling ballsy today. Well, crap. Is that in defense position? No, it wasn't. Yes. Alright, so there's one. Here's two, maybe? Oh, I got a power increase. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm not getting any further than this anyway, so. Let's see. Let's see. Can we block him in? He's got to get rid of that, and if he gets rid of that, he's going to get attacked from two sides anyway. Oh, we might be able to win this. I don't know how this is. Oh, even better. Even better. Oh my god, we just won this. We just won this. I blocked him in. Yo, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Holy cow. Oh my god, he has one shot left. He has only one shot left. Oh, good lord. Did I really just do this? I did. I did. He knows it too. He knows it. Oh my god. How? How did I beat him? I messed up so many times. How? Oh god. He's not dead, is he? No, he is. He's got to be. He's got to be dead. Come on. Don't play with me, game. Don't play with me. Don't play with my emotions like this. Oh, God, no. Okay. Okay, wait. Wait. We could still... We could still pull this off. He gets dark energy power, right? Yeah, and this is how much? 500? 300. Not enough, not enough. Oh, yes it is! Yes it is! Yes it is! Oh god! Oh no, the maximum number! No! No, why? Oh! Oh my god! Thank you so much, Starboy! Thank you! Fake trap! Oh god, I think I beat him. I beat him! He's blocked in, I got Thunder Dragon, I got him, I got nothing there. Not yet. There's nothing there yet. Oh, but he's still gonna die. He is still done. He is still done. Okay. Alright, because he's a fiend. Yeah, we don't have to worry about this because he's a fiend. Perfect. I killed him anyway. I killed him anyway without having to block him in because he was in attack position. That's game. Holy cow. That was a play. I got a little risk. I had to risk it for the biscuit there. I got ballsy. And I won. First try. Took me 30 minutes to do. But I did it. Okay. Holy cow. Okay. I'm gonna go edit something soon. I don't wanna play anymore. That's too much. Alright. Megamorph! Yes! I don't care what else I get. Oh god, I got I lose the space that's mage again. I got a Megamorph, and I got Curse of Millennium Shield. All good cards. All good cards. I'm gonna check them out. You guys are gonna come with me and check them out real quick. You must be joking. Me? Lose? Never! Oh dear. You just might be stronger than Sitter. 
I really enjoyed that. In fact, I've learned a lot from you. You've done wonders for my game. Oh, and by the way, I'm afraid that I don't have any rose cards. Sorry. What a jerk. Freaking blocking me from the next rose card. It's a good thing I beat him first try. Alright, so, like I said, here's the girl, Ishtar. I've got no clue how I'm going to do against her. She's another low deck cost. Um, but most of my cards are actually pretty low deck. Now, what I'm going to be doing in uh, possibly bonus videos is going through all the different cheat codes that you can do. Because I have the cheat code book um, here with me. And I'm going to show you the different monsters that you can get from different codes. Just for a random bonus video, see if I can get a little bit more out of this game. Um, I was wondering if you guys wanted me to use uh, Sword Stalker. I was thinking about it at one point, and I was like, you know what, Sword Stalker might make this game really easy. And if I use Sword Stalker, my general tactics of getting rid of a lot of cards at once will definitely pay off. Um, I have so many different fusions as well, so that would be three different cards if my fusions end up dying. Um, there's so many different possibilities that make Sword Stalker such a good option, but I don't want to do it unless you guys think that I could, or should. I'm playing fine without it. I mean, I've only gotten three losses. Now, KS6 Scope got zero losses because he used Sword Stalker, but I think with only three losses, that's respectable. So, uh, in the comment section below, please, for this video, just tell me if you want to see uh, Sword Stalker or any of the other uh, cheat codes. Let me actually, um, in the next episode, I'll tell you guys what those are. Uh, I might be recording again just to face Ishtar, um, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, so I wanted to check out this card, the three cards that I got, rather. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick just before that we end it off. We already know what an Illusionist Faceless Mage is. Let's see, Megamorph increases the power of every monster, does not matter what the monster, by 300 points. Really cool. Um, it also makes Metal Zilla, right? I can't remember. Um, and then this is a ritual. Sacrifice three different monsters with defense factors of 2,000 or higher to summon the Millennium Shield, which has, I think, like 3,000 defense or something like that. Um... I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check that out. I'm not going to be using this one. It's kind of stupid. However, what I will be doing, I already have. Um, actually, no, I won't. I won't get rid of that. I, I already have a uh, illusionist faceless mage. So I'm just going to go ahead and do another one because I don't use it that much anyway. So we're going to go ahead and reincarnate that uh, right now. So, um, oh, I don't have any passwords right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and reincarnate this dude. This was a lot. Of, there's a lot of stuff happening in this episode. So we got a barracks or Bayrox. I'm gonna say barracks just in case. Uh, a rainbow marine mermaid. Okay, another aqua monster. Nice. And invitation to a dark sleep. Okay, cool. Invitation to a dark sleep. When this card is flipped face up, all enemy cards are spelled down for one turn. All of the enemy cards? Yo, that is insane. It's a nice card. I like that. Barrox. Okay, just a really high defense. It's another weird one. And this is also high defense, but it's a fish. Because it's a mermaid. Look at that. With a 39 deck cost. I ended up getting a 38, a 30, and a 33. That's actually a really good reincarnation. Awesome. Alright. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to look up a, a few things, and I might return um, again tonight. However, if I don't, it's probably because I wanted to edit a couple of videos that I have left. Anyway, my name is in the 13 I'm hoping you're having a wonderful week, day, month, whatever it is you're having. And uh, I'll check you guys next time. the 13 signing out.